Alrighty, what is up guys? It is Crazy Crafter Prime, and today I got a request on Discord to make another tutorial video. Simon's by my good friend Michael Holiday, and he has requested to make, I guess you'd say, some sort of intro on how to do it. So, it should be quite easy. So, I made intros in PowerPoint. All sorts of other things. I've made logo animations that are part of intros. So it should be easy, relatively easy to do. So, ignore everything you hear in the background. Okay? So, with that said, let's get started. So, I've opened up a new blank presentation. I have made the layout to blank for this PowerPoint. What I want to do is I want to change the background. Let's go with a Pattern fill. Let's go with um, a nice large grid. And go with um, light gray and yellow, I guess. Wait, no, yellow is too bright. Let's go with gold. It's a little bit too bright. Let's go with green. Yeah, that works perfectly. So that works. And I click apply to all. Now, here's where the rub comes in. You actually got to um, insert a few things. You want to make a really good intro. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a connector and I'm going to hit shift, shift and control. And then change its size by a good bit. Then put it in the center of the entire PowerPoint. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger too. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And recenter it up since I accidentally had to change it to 3.6. There will be no outline on the circle unless I can make it black, which I can. Now, I obviously don't know, you can insert a picture from a file, you can go into whatever folders you have for your characters. So, let's see, wait, wrong way. So obviously you gotta make it five inches by three point six inches I guess. So now that I have my character within the circle and I can now change the effect now for PowerPoint you can actually change the effects for your um um shape or whatever you have in the shape. However, I would not do that, as it will really mess things up. So I just leave it the way it is. Let's not use any presets. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And that was the drawing of me and Astro Madsen's Creative Universe that I share on my YouTube channel in the Community tab. Which, by the way, it didn't turn out that bad, I don't think. Like I said in the post. Now we gotta insert some text. There's multiple different ways you can make an intro. But what I would do is I would go to insert and then click on text box. Then make the font a little bit bigger than normal. I'd go for font size 44. And um. Use whatever font you want. As long as you don't get a copyright claim for using it. That's all that matters. Like, I wouldn't dare use the Jeopardy font for my logo. I've used it for the Jeopardy intro bloopers logo that I have on DeviantArt, the newer version I should say. I'll go with Pixel Aerial 11. Then I'm also going to change the text to have no outline and I'll have it yellow. I'll type in crazy crafter prime. 
I accidentally put one too many M's in prime. See? Yeah, that looks good. Now, for the effects, I need to do a bevel real quick. I think that looks pretty good. But I now need to change the color a little bit. I think... Green on my globe should work just fine. Actually, no, it won't because I can see it on the other thing. So I'll go to gold then. Yeah, that looks really good. And yes, my YouTube name is spelled like how it is within this PowerPoint. I had the word prime lowercase. So that's okay. And then we gotta hit Control C and Control V to copy and paste it. And you can add whatever byline you want. I'll just type in my usual byline for the sake of. Wait a minute. I gotta type in a new one. I forgot. It's gotta be an NBN Corporation. I can spell corporation right. Company. Since T-Bird's version, T-Bird 404's version of NBN, obviously. Um, let me, let me hurry up and center up the text. Yeah, that looks good. Another reason I had to add my new byline is because yeah, T-Bird 404's company of NBN Corporation now owns my YouTube channel. And I've been in the server, so that's why I'm using that byline now. So, now for the effects that we can use for the animations for each part. I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to head to animations. Let's see, which one do I want to use? I think... Swirl I used in a previous animation or two. I think I'm going to make it last seven seconds. This one we will have bounce. Wait a minute. Grow and turn maybe. And then after previous. We'll have it last, I guess. Let's go with five seconds, I guess. And then for the NBN Corporation Company, we gotta. Let's use. Let's use, um. Grow and turn again. After previous. And I'm gonna. Add another animation, and I'm going to have it spin with previous. So, and I will have it last 7 seconds. Now I'm going to preview it real quick to show what it looks like. So my character's slowly coming in. Good. Here comes in my YouTube name. And then... I should have probably not have added that spin. So, effect options. I'm going to change it back to just grow and turn. Ooh, and then I'll put it after previous, as you can see on screen. I'll make it last six seconds. I'll make, I'll make this one a little bit faster. Four seconds. That, that should do it. Let's preview it again. Yeah, that's faster, and I like it. My name is probably the slowest thing on there, so I'll change its animation speed. And that is an intro that that is too simple to be done even in PowerPoint. Now, when you are done with it all. Go to File, Save As, Browse, and we're going to have your desktop, if you're doing this on a computer, and we're going to click on MPEG for video, 
we're going to call it new intro and this is since I'm doing a tutorial right now I'll call it put in parentheses two tutorial v1 I'll say I won't upload this because I don't need to make a new intro for my YouTube channel now and I'm not going to save this presentation, so here's another way you can do it. Just wait for Sony Vegas Pro to load up. I should have had this loaded already, but whatever. Anyways, let me see. Um, file new. I gotta shrink down this real quick since I. Okay. Just hit enter, I guess. Here's another way you can do it. But I will show you how to add audio into this. So let's say you want to use um that um just ignore everything you see on there. So you wanted to use that new intro, right? Well as of right now, I have an easy way to include music. If you open up this the music. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, I know just the thing to use. We'll use my custom TV, custom 20th Century Fox television fanfare. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to X, and I honestly don't know how to speed this up. In Sony Vegas, let use Sony Vegas Pro. Um, no playback rate. Never mind. I figured it out. Let me try. Um, this is the original? I do believe is. Hang on. Cancel. Okay, let me see how long it lasts. I know I'm gonna look stupid for making an intro like this, but it's whatever. So it lasts 15 seconds. And the fanfare that I'm, or the music that I'm using, lasts 4.25. I need to speed that up quite a good bit. And if you ever need to speed up the rate of your intro, just click on these on the hamburger looking thing, click playback rate. And here's what I do. If it's like four minutes four seconds long, I would go for one point I guess you could say two five. Okay? Okay. Okay, so that's still not slow enough. Still not fast enough. Wait a minute, undo that. Playback rate, let's go with um 275, I guess. Let me try um playback rate again. This this is gonna be a long video, but whatever. Let's try 1.3. Let me try Try something better. I'm gonna try 1.5. See if that does any better. No, that wasn't enough. I'm try to play back right. Try one point. I guess. I guess twice the speed. Let me try two. Let me see if that worked. No, that's still not enough. I'm gonna go for something like 2.5. See if that works.
that's getting closer. So I would just go for, if it's like four seconds long, let's try 2.75. No, it's still not fast enough. Playback rate. Let's try something like 3.25. Okay, so it's a little bit too fast. So, let me just trim it just a little bit. That's a little bit too much. Okay, that works. Let's see it. Yeah, that works. We finally got the intro. Now, there's multiple different programs you can use for editing your intro. The reason I went with Tony Vegas is because I want to get better with it. And when you're done, if you hit in here, only people are using Tony Vegas, you want to go to File, Render As, and then just call it the same thing that you titled it earlier New Intro. As for my purposes, I'll call it Tutorial V2 now. Since, it's a, since this is a tutorial. There we go. And then you can hit no to save the unt untitled changes. And now let's check the final result. If I remember which one it was. Let's check it. And that is a very good intro. But there's multiple different programs that you can easily use to make intros. Like you can use a website called Canva. You can make it in PowerPoint. You can animate however you like. But I would highly recommend using Microsoft PowerPoint. It gives you animations. It gives you the right speed for everything. You can edit the speed of the animations. You can combine them all together. And you can do all sorts of shapes and texts and all sorts of other things. You can add whatever you want to your intro. As long as it doesn't give away personal information. That's all that matters about making an intro. So I hope you found this helpful. And at least entertaining it. At least. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's end the video right now. I'll see you all next time. See you all later.